Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and for watching it. I so appreciate your viewership. Anyway, today I want to talk about my umbrella tree. Yes, this is an actual tree. Um, what I'm showing you in the larger clip is what my plant looks like now, and in the smaller screen is what it looks like two years ago. But um, keep in mind that I've had this plant now for 16 years, and I originally bought it in a four inch pot from Ikea. Would you believe that? Later in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I've taken care of this plant and how I've been able to propagate this in water. So first, let's talk about the plant itself. Schifflerus originated from China, but there are other varieties and species that have originated from Australia. And this is actually a tree, like a literal tree. These can grow up to 66 feet tall. Is that not insane? So you're asking me, well, how did you get yours to grow super tall? And how did you keep it to be so luscious all these years? So I think the biggest factor that's contributed to the success of this plant is the fact that I keep it in my sunniest area. That window faces the east, and so it gets a lot of sun. And it's not um, averse to direct sunlight, so that's why I think that it's grown so much um, in the past 16 years. I've taken some to rooms that don't have that much light, and this has a tendency to um, grow very leggy petioles, which is why I think it really does prefer a lot of light, um, although it can tolerate lower lighting conditions, but it will get really leggy. And what I mean by that is you see the petioles or the groups of leaves that it has, it's gonna grow super long. So they already look long in this clip, but they get even longer if it's not getting enough sunlight because it'll grow and try to reach um, and lean towards the sunlight. So again, if you have one of these plants or recently bought this plant, make sure that it gets a lot of sunlight, direct sunlight if possible. So obviously I'm showing you where I took a clipping from um, several weeks ago, and I wanna show you that when you do that, it just grows back. So I don't think you can control the direction of where it starts to branch out next, because now this is like a perpendicular <laughs> angle of the original um, stem but it does grow back. And so at the bottom of the plant, you can see that the stem gets very woody. And again, this is an actual tree that a lot of people have um, turned into house plants. So there are two primary um, varieties that are in people's homes. And one is the uh, dwarf um, Schifflera, which I think has rounder leaves as opposed to the plant I have, um, which is just, I guess, the normal Schifflera that is pointier in the leaves. There is also a variegated version of this plant, which I want so badly, but every time I see one at the store, it looks kind of gross. Um, and it has like fine webbing, which is an indication of spider mites. And so I always end up just passing up on the plant, but I really want to get a variegated one. And so um, in contrast to the very woody uh, stems at the bottom, you can see that the new growth is super um, green and fleshy. It's like uh, pliable. And so those are the best candidates for taking clippings to root in water. Not to say that some of the more mature stems won't root in water. It'll just take a lot longer than if you just cut some of the younger uh, growth. And so um, the watering for this plant, you really cannot overwater this. So this is um, this plant takes a really long time, by the way, to propagate in water. So you won't see roots developing for probably about a month or maybe even two months. And I've seen videos of someone propagating the petioles like you would um, the petioles of a Pilea peperomioides, which I'll clip here, or sorry, I'll link here um, as I was able to propagate some of the petioles of my Pilea plant. But I've seen that you can do this um, as well on this plant, but I've not personally been able to. I'm currently experimenting um, with a few clippings in water, which I'll show you in later clips. But um, again, anyway, if you cut 
a stem, it will grow back. I guarantee it. It'll probably take also a month um, to grow back, but it will definitely grow back as you can see in the two examples that I've shown you. I have a lot of other examples, but I'm just showing you two um, just for the purpose of this video. So this plant again is super easy to propagate. I've given so many of these plants away because they are so easy to propagate, but they're also really easy to take care of. As long as you put this plant in a sunny window, it's gonna do fine because you can't overwater it. There is one cutting that I've potted um, for about a year now that I did maybe over water and it started to have brown dots on it I, I can't remember what that is called but your over if yours has some dots in it okay so here's a clip of the um <laughs> petioles that i'm trying to get to root in water anyway if you start to see brown spots on your leaves um, I suspect that you don't have a drainage hole in the pot that it's in. And if that's the case, it's because you're overwatering it. And it's not going to kill the plant, but just let it dry out for a week and a half or so, or a couple weeks. Uh, get yourself a moisture meter and you'll be able to tell when the plant is dry and need uh, is and is in need of watering. And it will get over that um uh, root rust, I think is what that's called, the brown spots that are growing on the leaves. This plant has really strong roots, which I'll show you um, in later clips. But initially, when you take a clipping, you're going to see all these like nasty white bumps, which I first thought that's where the roots were going to emerge from. But I honestly don't know what those things are. Um, but they're harmless, I think. Um, so just keep, ignore them, <laughs> keep your clipping in water and eventually it will sprout a root just like this. So this one happens to emerge, it looks like from inside the stem, but there are other clippings that are emerging right on the exterior of the stem rather than f internally like you saw in that other clip or in that previous clip. This clipping in particular is much younger. As you can see, it's really short and compared to the last one we were looking at. And so this one didn't take as long to root. It still took several weeks though. So I'm going to estimate about four, maybe five weeks for this one to have a root emerge. And again, you can see this one emerging from the um, exterior side of the plant rather than inside of the plant um, in that previous clip. Again, be really patient when you're trying to propagate this plant because it does take several weeks, if not a couple months, for roots to develop. Then you have to wait for um, the roots to get uh, more mature and longer. So you can see this cutting has now two roots, but this is still too early to um, transfer into soil. It may survive if you keep the soil very moist, but I don't recommend that. I um, would encourage you to wait a little bit longer and wait till it's about maybe two inches or three inches long or until it has like a bunch of roots well, where I'll show you in later clips what I mean by that um, before you transplant it into soil. It's really fun too to watch the roots develop. So these plants have much thicker roots, kind of like the pothos um, roots that I've shown you before in other videos videos that I'll link here. Um, but this one does ha also have a really strong root system as opposed to other plants like my um, aluminum peperomia that have really fine roots. And so this is what I'm talking about. You're going to want to wait until it has a grouping of roots before you transfer it into soil. Also, how cute are my pajamas, you guys? I've shown these to you before, but they're my favorite holiday pajamas because they're so cozy. Anyway, look at the crazy roots. So this is a plant that you're going to want to repot for sure every couple of years because it really gets root bound. I'm going to link a video here where I show you one of my chaufleras. Um, it just stopped growing, but it wasn't dead. And I don't, I didn't know what was wrong with it until I lifted up the nursery pot and saw that it was just growing 
out of control. The roots were growing out of control and then it lined the entire nursery pot um, to form what looked like a root basket. It's crazy. That is a must watch. But anyway, I repurposed an old candle holder as now a new um, plant pot and it's working out just fine. So you can see in the smaller clip that it has taken root, you guys, success. There is new growth emerging since transferring this cutting into soil. And so guaranteed, this is gonna grow really well. Um, you can see a close up of it here. It kind of looks like a little baby arm, just like forcing its way out of the stem. It also resembles um, other appendages, but I'll leave that up to your imagination. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you like this video. Again, this is a super easy plant to take care of uh, and to propagate and propagate and to give away as gifts. So main takeaways from this video is one, keep this plant in a super sunny area because it loves the sun. Secondly, you cannot overwater this. I recommend watering it once a week or get yourself a moisture meter if you have it in a pot that does not have a drainage, um, a drainage hole because it'll tell you when it's dry. I typically water mine every four to five days. Um, and I use maybe, for this size plant, I'll use maybe um, half a cup of water every four to five days for me. And I keep it, I keep this one in particular in a not so sunny area because it's still new and I want it to focus its energy on growing the roots. Um, but it likes sun, it likes water, get yourself a moisture meter. And if you feel like propagating one of your plants, do so because it's just going to grow back. Look at all the cuttings that I've got cooking here in my kitchen. It's really easy to propagate, but be patient because it takes several weeks, if not a few months to get the roots to develop um, a bunch before it's safe to transfer it into soil. I would say that this is probably one of the easiest house plants that I own and I highly recommend it to beginner plant owners. If you have this plant and you're having trouble, I would pray for your children and for your pets because I don't know how you can go wrong with this plant. It is so easy. I mean, look how massive mine has grown in the past 16 years. Yeah, I've had it for a really long time, but keep in mind that it's a very simple um, plant to take care of and you don't even need any complicated um, soil mixture. I do fertilize this in the summer months uh, and in the spring months. I use um, the fish oil uh, fertilizer, the really stinky kind, but I dilute it a lot. Oh, do you guys like my holiday decorations? I don't have room for an actual tree, so I put a little star at the top of this <laughs> Chaflera plant. How adorable, right? Yes, I'm a crazy plant lady. Hey, anyway, before I go, this is where I'm going to beg you to please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because that's how I know that some of you are enjoying the content I'm posting for you. All right, guys, I hope you're having um, a wonderful holiday season. I hope that you guys are enjoying time uh, spent with your family and most of all, um, enjoying your botana babies. All right, guys, till next time. Bye.